Blackboard Finder is the latest next generation 3D printers to be hitting the market. It features a new MK10 brass nozzle plus PTFE thermal barrier linear tube, which translates to better prints as well as less jamming. It prints from 500 up to 100 microns resolution. It features a print bed of 14 by 14 by 14 centimeters with a print speed of 40 to 200 millimeters per second. With the size of the printer to be 42 by 42 by 42 centimeters large, it's actually a very compact 3D printer, with a footprint that is less than half the size of the Flatforge Creator Pro. Although that is the case, it packs a punch, featuring next generation 3D printing technology. It has 4 gigabytes of onboard storage, Wi-Fi, or USB cable. Or alternatively, users can opt to use the iOS app to directly 3D print files from the Flashforge Finder. Because of the nature of the non-heated bed, it is only able to print PLA filament, which is a bummer for those people who want to print with ABS plastics or other types of filament. The setting up process is almost the same with the Flashforge Creator Pro as long as you put blue tape on it to improve the adhesion of the 3D printed parts. I think at the end of the day, if you're just printing parts for your home use or just stuff in general, I think this 3D printer should suffice. However, if you're printing parts out for other people, for example, for your business, I'd recommend the Flashforge Creator Pro because it has the ability to print ABS as well as different types of materials such as nylon or wood filament. Another thing that you should also be aware about is that the Flashforge Finder uses a proprietary onboard storage that has a microchip that connects to the 3D printer. By having the microchip on board of the box, it allows the 3D printer to know whether the filament is actually extruding or not, so it also gives us the ability to start and stop the prints. For me, this feature is either a hit or a miss, and sometimes it doesn't work at all. But hey, this is still new technology. In terms of the printing capabilities of the Flashforge Finder, I find that it's very quiet. It rarely goes over 70 decibels when printing. And I also find that this jams less than other 3D printers currently on the market. I guess Flashforge has taken a lot of time to try and improve on the previous version of the extruder, as well as the parts used to improve this 3D printer. However, there is just one thing that I'm a little bit concerned about with this 3D printer, is that the print head does not click with the clicker as well as it could have. And this could be due to the quality issue that Flashforge currently has. So as you can see, with the aluminum foil early on, the print head flushes with the clicker. However, when I take it off, it creates another problem where the 3D printing head actually bangs into the side of the 3D printer. This is because the clicker isn't flush with the 3D printer. So one of the remedies to this problem is adding an aluminum foil towards the side of the clicker. So what this does is that the aluminum foil fills up the space between the gap that is not flush with the 3D printing head. So after putting the aluminum foil back on, as you can see over here right now, the 3D printer works again. So if you guys encountered this problem, feel free to message me or refer to this video and see what are some of the solutions that you can do to rectify this issue. But besides that, nothing went wrong. In general, the 3D printer performed up to my specifications and it actually exceeded some of my expectations of the 3D printing quality. As you can see over here, this was printed at 200 microns resolution. And it's pretty high quality too, it didn't warp like the Flashboard Creator Pro. I guess if you calibrate the bed properly as well as make sure the room is well ventilated, PLA will turn out just as nice as AES. For those people who are interested in purchasing a machine that is low cost as well as cost effective, the Flashboard Finder is a very good option to buy. However, if you're thinking about printing ABS, PLA, or other types of filament, and you want a wider flexibility, I'd go for the Flashboard Creator Pro. The reason being, it's much more cost effective than a 5th generation MakerBot replicator or a Ultimaker 2. So I'm going to be uploading more videos in the next couple of weeks. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you do want to support me, please use my Amazon referral links. It helps me a lot and keeps me making awesome videos for you.